In this video, I will provide you with detailed information regarding the preparation of a door prior to painting. The preparation is started immediately following the arrival of the door from the carpenter's workshop. Often, these doors have a few small details that require polishing, these details will also be analyzed by the painter before the door can be painted. We will begin by blowing the entire door surface. As a result, we will be able to verify that the door does not have any holes, excess wood filler, or stuck nails. Wood stains can also be found due to dirty or sweaty hands handling the material. Secondly, we will fill any necessary parts of the surface if any irregularities are found. These might appear due to an unintentional nail hole or scraped wood during this process. What's most important is to leave the wood putty dry correctly. This putty, which has to be solid and not soft, should match the color of the wood as closely as possible in order to avoid creating a strong contrast between the two. After putting the putty, we'll proceed sanding all imperfections from the surface with a 400 sandpaper. On the filled parts, there should not be a strong pressure applied to the wood when sanding. When pressure is applied to a particular area, such as this one, it produces contrast, which gives the impression that the area overly sanded is lighter. Additionally, any parts that are dirty or dusty should be lightly sanded to make sure that dust marks do not remain on the wood and to ensure that it is clean. Once these initial steps have been completed, we begin the general sanding process for the door, which involves sanding the entire surface, always sanding along the marks of the wood. Regardless of whether the marks are vertical or horizontal, you should follow their direction to avoid creating blemishes on the surface of the wood. Finally, we blow the door once more to ensure that all dust has been removed. Taking this step prevents the wood oil from sticking to dusty parts. Residual dust can cause the wood to dry, which is why when spreading wood oil on the surface, it absorbs more product on the dry parts and gives the impression of some spots being darker.